Hello everybody, this is the Big Axe of Diamonds, and welcome back to my Minecraft survival world. Now, we've got all the Eyes of Ender, necessarily. We've got the three Ender Pearls, and we've got 11 Eyes of Ender in here, so we're pretty good with that. But before we head into the end, I thought that we would gather some more levels of experience. So that we can fully enchant our armor. I was thinking of bringing it all up to protection too. So. Maybe I could disenchant this. I don't really need the looting anymore. Or the unbreaking. Because I'm going to use the iron sword as my primary sword. Wait, why can't I go down the ladder? Oh. Never mind. I'm good. So, how many levels would giving the looting three? Fourteen. Good. How many for the unbreaking? Five. And if we did both? Nineteen. Hmm. That ought to be probably enough levels. But, let's just make sure that we don't really need these anymore. Hmm. Tell you what, I'll just enchant the unbreaking for now. And does looting still give me 14? Good. So for now I'm just doing just doing the unbreaking because who knows, we might find a use for these someday. Hmm. We might be able to go out and kill a few more Endermen with it. But for now, do you think we should enchant our armor? Hmm. How much would it cost to bring this up to protection two? Five levels. Hmm. Well, I do just have five levels, so why not? Protection two. Now all I need is the boots, and then we'll be done. I also might want to add some enchantments to this bow, like add it make it maybe power 5 instead of power f 3 or 4. Hmm. At some point I might want to go into the nether and kill another blaze man so I could get more more blaze powder or at least one more. We can do that now. And by the way, I think I'll use this sword. Hmm. Or maybe, does this work on Blazemen? Hmm. I don't think it does. But anyway, let's go into the nether and see if we can... Wait. I want arrows. All I need is one, since my bow has infinity. I did not want to do that. And we could go and kill another Blazeman. I was thinking of getting extra extra blaze powder, just so we can make a couple of ender chests. Wait, what was that? Might have been from the lava, like a special particle. Hmm. But anyway, let's go to kill a blaze man. Oh, I think I hear a magma cube. By the way, we could get a couple of pieces of nether brick while we're here. Oh. Hello, Magma Cube. Hmm. Alright, and it drops. Turns into tiny little smaller Magma Cubes. Strangely enough, of them dropped Magna Cream, though. I don't know what that's about. But anyway... Let's go, not this way, which way? Probably the way of the cobblestone. Hmm. I sort of forgot which way the blaze spawner was since the last time. I don't seem to be losing run easy. Not peaceful, I thought we might be. Oh, three of them. <laughs> Mm 
Why do they have so much health? Oh, it's because I'm hitting them with an arrow. Oof. That was close. So how many did I get? No blaze rods? With all those blaze men, no blaze rods. Really. I better eat a steak and regen. Can't go back there yet. And water doesn't work in the nether. It would be good if I had a potion of fire resistance. Hmm. Well, let's just wait until our health fully regenerates, then it'll be safe. We would not want to die over here. Ah. You're gassed. Hope it doesn't interfere. You know what? I could just snipe it from here, you know. I could do that. Oops. Wow, what an aggro range. Anyway, did it have the blaze rod? Of course it didn't. So let's just wait for another one to spawn. Really? Really? Peaceful Minecraft music, not not the time. So suspenseful. Ah. Blaze rod? No, what is with these? They don't drop blaze rods. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, any from those? Anyway, let's just go for now. One blaze rod. Well, that's good enough for now. Let's hope the gas doesn't damage us too much. Ready our bow. Hmm. Which way did we come from? I don't think it was this direction. Might have been this way. Yeah, I think it was this way. Okay, I'm just going to turn off the music a bit. There. Now, where's that ghast? Hmm. Better be careful. Oh, look, it's a baby zombie pigman. Didn't even know there was such a thing. Oh, and it has an enchanted sword. Well, I guess I'm going back. Well, what a new discovery. A baby zombie pig man. Well, it's night time, so I suppose we can go out and kill some more Endermen. Or whatever mobs we may prefer. By the way, the reason I got this nether brick so that I could replace this nether rack here, with nether brick. Hmm. So, how should I do this? I suppose I can just collect this trapdoor with my fists. And the ladder too. And let's just put that here. And can we go up? Good. Let's just put the ladder back and the trapdoor. Good to go. Hmm. Man, this chest is full. What should I. I don't even need this nether wreck. Hmm. So, should I go out and try to kill some more. Well, mobs in general, since I'm not specifically going for Endermen anymore. 
Let's do that. First, we might want some more food, though, so... Any in here? Where did I put it? Here's the baked potatoes. Let's bring... Let's bring 16 of them. And go out and kill some more mobs for the XP. Mobs are pretty close to my house. Good thing that still has knockback. On. Die. I don't think I've ever had this many mobs so close to my house before. Come on, now thinking of taking out my fire aspect sword just to, you know, use it up. Let's gather all the XP that's around, hanging around. Lots of zombies, more than the other mobs. So much XP! Ah, man, there's really a lot around here. Or is it just me? And there's always this much around here, but I just don't attack them as much. I don't really need the rotten flesh, though. Just the experience. <laughs> Got hit by the cactus. That's what you get. Man, there's so many of them around here. At least I got a good amount of XP. Ow. Okay, now it's time for the skeletons. Wow, one hit. Well, what do you know? Ow. Hmm. Seems like more mobs are spawning than usual. So that's a good bit of levels. Should we put those levels to use since we're right here? I think so. Hmm. So, hmm, what should we spend it on? Let's bring it up to protection two. Protection two, protection two, protection two. I'm not gonna enchant the helmet though, cause most of the time I think I'll be wearing a pumpkin on my head instead because it prevents Enderman from being mad at you. Should we repair these? It's not quite worth the levels yet. Wait, this has a repair cost of two now. I'll just do the ones that have two repair cost. Oh, right. Repair. Not enchant. Repair. And... Hmm. So we can leave those for now. And we might want to add some more levels to the bow. Oh, look, there's a bit of XP over there. Let's kill this skeleton, dude. Already up to three more levels. Wonder how much it's going to take. Wonder how much it's going to take for the bow to get up to five. Now, where's that guy? Here he is. Let's kill him. Ooh, that was a close one. Didn't even realize he was behind me. Oh, and there's another one behind me. 
Wow. That was a big explosion. I think it seemed to be bigger than a normal creeper. And that one dropped a lot of gunpowder, surprisingly. I guess it's just a sword. It's got looting. Ah, water cushioned its fall. Hmm. Hey, there's some XP over here. Random XP just sitting around. And some more from the spider. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, that was close. Creepers are so sneaky. Guess that's why they're called creepers, because they creep up on you. Hmm. So as I can go buy some of these burning skeletons and hope they drop XP. Hmm. Maybe we could get some more from the spiders and creepers that are still around. Actually, to be honest, I don't see that many of them. How many are there? Hmm. Looks like not that many. Well, we can head back. Any XP? Good, good. And where's that one? Let's get some XP from him. You know, to be honest, there's probably a lot of coal sitting around in the mines that I could just get a lot of XP from. Because sometimes I, get, I ignore the coal because I don't really need it that much. So maybe we could just go down there and get some, get some coal and get some more XP. XP is my main goal right now. Aside from that, we could pretty much go to go to the end. Maybe in the next episode. By the way, let's collect collect our wheat and collect potatoes. Good amount. Good amount. So, what's next? Suppose I can bake these potatoes. Hmm. We have a lot of wheat, don't we? You know what? I'm going to do the same thing that I usually do with, with the blocks of ores and turn the wheat into hay bales. I'll treat them like blocks of wheat. Hmm. So I suppose I can just put all this stuff back. Hmm. Most of this is pretty full up. Hmm. I guess it's time to move them to this chest. Actually, I don't need the spider eye to be in there. Flowers and seeds would go in here. And that's pretty much it, but... Let's cook the potatoes. Put it in the furnace. And we're good to go. Anything else we can enchant while we're here? Well, now this costs two to repair. One to repair. Let's, re let's repair it. And how much would it cost to bring this up to power 5? Hmm. Hmm. Looks like 7, and that's just to bring it up to level 4. Hmm. Well, maybe we don't even 
need that bow that much. The enchantments aren't really that important. Pretty soon we can just go into the end and start fighting the Ender Dragon. I almost missed the early survival. The early survival of, like, grasping everything. Making the essentials. At some point I might want to make a jukebox so that I can play these music discs. Might be, might be a waste of diamonds, though. Hmm. You know, at some point, I'm going to want to mine some more obsidian to make ender chests. You know, one of the first things I want to do is combine these ender pearls with three blaze powder and make three more ender pearls. Now we've got fourteen. So anyway, as I was saying, I was thinking of mining more obsidian to make ender chests with. So I'm going to just do that right now. I'll probably cut it though. And also, I was thinking of making... thinking of making a bed. An extra bed to go to, you know, sleep near the stronghold and put our spawn point there instead. You might be wondering, why aren't I using wool? Well, A, I don't have any wool, and B, you can craft wool with string. It's ironic, because usually you can craft string with wool, or you could, like, spin wool into string in real life. But anyway, here's a bed, and pumpkins, pumpkins. We have six of them. That's good. I think we got those in an early episode. Hmm. Pretty soon we're going to be able to go to the end. But first, I'm going to go down to mine some obsidian. And I guess I'll just cut that. Because, well, you know how tedious and boring mining obsidian is. So, I am cutting right now. Alright, so... We've got 16 more obsidian, and we also found some redstone along the way. Just one one block, though. It's too bad obsidian doesn't give you a bunch of experience. It should. Hmm. I guess it's time to begin the journey back up and maybe craft some ender chests. I am aware, though, that when ender chests are placed, they don't actually drop an extra eye of ender. Oh, is there a zombie right below me? Hmm, apparently not. At least not directly. Well, anyway, I suppose we can craft some ender chests like we were going to do. So let's grab a couple of our Eyes of Ender. And make some Ender Chests. Two Ender Chests. One for the End, and one for the Stronghold. Hmm. You know, maybe I'll just even go to the Stronghold right now and put one there. Not going to need this stone sword. Hmm. Do you think I should add this to my sword? Nah. Nah, I don't think so. I wonder if you can actually enchant books with enchanting plus. I'm not actually going to do it, I'm just going to test it out. Oh look. It works. You can get pretty much any enchantment in the game with this. I wonder if it's actually more efficient. More efficient than enchanting directly. It might be. Hmm. 
you know what? Let's just bring everything we need into the into the end right now. Wearing a pumpkin. Maybe we'll store some of this stuff. Hmm. Is there anything we'll anything extra we're going to need? <coughs> Probably baked potatoes and let's bring like Sixteen of them. I probably want to enchant something first, though. Hmm. I don't think I'm actually going to go over to the stronghold and put the ender chest there. Not until I've got all the levels I need. I don't want to go into the end and lose a bunch of levels. Even though I'm going to gain levels when I defeat the ender dragon. But anyway, I suppose that we can cut the episode right now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.